And uh, Rebecca, since you're just joining us, Paul will not be at the meeting today, nor will Catherine Porter. Okay. So I think the folks who are here are here. I don't know, Elizabeth, is anybody from the outside tuning in? Can you tell? Okay. Uh, there's nobody besides the five of us. Okay. All right. Fabulous five. Let's <laughs> rock and roll here. So opening remarks and announcements. Uh, I don't really have any other than uh, one of the items of the business down under new business, which is to say, Yahoo, we uh, have <laughs> we have a new HR director ready to be approved. I don't have, was she officially approved? Does she have to be officially approved by the uh, town council? Has that all happened? She was approved on Monday night um, right. by the town council um, and will be starting, I think it's December 19th. Yes. <clears throat> right. So, but we'll still add, maybe we can say a little bit more about, about her uh, when we get to that point. Does anybody have any announcements that you would like to make? Otherwise, uh, and there doesn't seem to be any public uh, ready to comment. So let's move down to the new business, which is update on recruitment of human resources director. And Rebecca, since you were on that committee, maybe you could say a few words about. Yeah. Um, I apologize uh, for being late this morning. I, I have COVID and I'm oh. like we just tested this morning and it's positive and it's in my house. And I'm just like trying to like, I was trying to reschedule classes for tomorrow and like, uh, so oh, yeah, but we're yeah. safe through zoom. Um, so that's good. Um, the search, uh, committee was a uh, work was great and we had strong candidates and had diverse candidates and, I am personally, I was like the person we got is the person I definitely wanted. So I'm really happy that it turned out that way, but I would have been happy with the other ones as well. They, they were strong candidates. So Melissa comes from Berkshire uh, Community College and she went to UMass. So I just really liked that she, vi she vibes in the university town atmosphere um, and then has all the law and, you know, the union experience and very well qualified and um, great personality. So I yep. think we're very fortunate. So Kay, are you very sorry that we have found a new HR director? Nobody's better than Kay. Kay's been- <laughs> I am absolutely delighted. <laughs> and I echo Rebecca's feeling about Melissa. I thought she was fantastic. I'm really looking forward to working with her. Um, so she was asking Paul when he and I met with her that if there was going to be a mentor and he volunteered me. So. <laughs> ah, good. <clears throat> well, we certainly know from hard, unfortunate experience, we do need to do whatever we can to help this new hire work out. Uh, yeah. And be productive and happy in her job and effective. Because uh, that seems to be a challenge for the town <laughs> to, to keep all this wonderful talent that we bring yeah. forward. She's definitely going to want um, outlets to be public facing ish. Um, yeah. We did, we did, I, we, we say we need to do what we can to support. And I just don't, I'm not exactly sure what that is exactly, but um, she's, I, I hope she, like every other manager person working in the town is going to need a team, like her team, energetic yeah. team. So whatever, whoever those people are, not her supervisor, not her supervisees, but her intellectual team because she's had that at Berkshire Community College and really loved it and needs it so that's what I think about when I think about support for her who's her team who's her generative team feedback well, 
yeah, that's a, do you think the personnel board or any of us might lend an extra hand in that regard? You know, should we? Yeah, I think the personnel board would be a, a great yeah. place because it's not just a re, uh, place for, I don't know, reporting oh. and getting feedback on specific ideas. But if we saw it like that or treated it like, yeah, we're your team, we're your team or one of your teams. Yep. And what about uh, some of these, I mean, usually when somebody is brought on board and they, and they need a mentor and, and somebody to watch out for them, it's usually sort of a longstanding person who really knows the ropes, but I'm thinking about a couple of our very recent new hires, like Earl, for example, or Pam, because they just came on, well, he, they, they came on board relatively recently, and so right. they have recently experienced what she's about to experience when she comes on board. Yeah, that's great. Great. And, uh, you know, and um, especially I'm thinking about reporting relationships. Okay, you know, who, who, Earl reports directly to Paul, is that right? Or does this? Right. And Melissa will report directly to Paul. Yes. Um, but I foresee. Um, her and Pamela working very closely together, which is a new situation because we haven't had um, a DEI director in the past. Right. Um, and Pamela is a very collaborative um, way yeah. of working. So I see that as a good match. Well, I'll, I'll repeat what I said. Yippee and uh, congratulations to the search committee. Job well done. When, when I uh, saw Paul's initial memo describing the candidates' backgrounds and qualifications, I said, wow, nailed it again. You know, mm -hmm. good job. And so we just want to make sure this good hire stays around for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to work as hard as I can to make sure that happens. And I hope, I'm sure the rest of us will do that also. So working down on our agenda for the next item uh, under new business is discussion of the part-time wage scale. This has been an agenda item for a while. And I want to thank Kay very much for sending us the proposal uh, to make an adjustment for the part-time wage scale, and um, which hasn't been, I guess, adjusted for quite a while. And so do you want to say a little bit uh, more about that, Kay? Yeah, when we, um, Stanley Sipchinski um, did the class, the uh, job description of the classification study and recommended a table um, that we, essentially expected to last three years. And we did the last implementation in July by moving to the um, $15 minimum wage. Um, but when that table was developed, the other levels were all essentially the same throughout the past three years. Uh, and um, we don't have that many people that are at the top of the level. I think there's like six or seven. Uh, but just like the non-union scale or any of our scales, if once you reach the top, there's nowhere to go. And with the non-union scales, they have a, a COLA that gets applied. Um, I think we learned our lesson when we applied a COLA to the part-time scale a number of years ago that that wasn't necessarily the best way to, to deal with the part-time. Um, so even though that's been suggested, I thought if we just added a step and dropped a step, um, that that might be um, a more acceptable way of dealing with those people that have, have been at the top of the scale. Um, and so I did that in each of the next two fiscal years. Um, I think it's you don't need to uh, necessarily approve the one effective in 2024 because that one um, is not in the budget process, but they're starting the budget process 
for uh, July of 23. Uh, so if we could at least have that one settled fairly soon, they'll be able to do the budgeting for it. Um, so it's just an idea. If someone else has another idea, you know, it's we're certainly open to it. Yep. Well, it looks sensible to me. Uh, how about uh, the rest of you? It's it's basically a, a three percent adjustment. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. No, it looks reasonable to me, and me too. I like getting ahead of the game and yep, being early on it, and this is the right right thing to do. May I ask, uh, Kay, you mentioned there aren't too many at the top of the scale already, but are, are most of those in the library? Yes. Hard? Yes, right, so. Um, I think five or six of them are in the library. So yeah. the majority of those that are at the top. Um, and really what happens is other than new hires, when you adjust the scale in this manner, people stay on the same step that they're on, but they, they get a 3% increase. Right. Um, so people like election workers, we would probably move back a step or something of that nature because they tend not to keep up with um, doing um, increases for uh, for the election workers. Uh, so that, you know, that might be one of the areas that's adjusted somewhat. But for the most part, like the library employees, would just stay on the step that they're on and get the 3% bump. Yep. Well, let's, uh, I agree with what you said about election workers, although, and, and thank heavens Amherst is uh, not yet a town where election workers uh, might uh, be eligible for hazardous pay duty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, really. Otherwise, some adjustments might need to be made. Yeah for them. Um, and I'm glad we're able to do something for the folks at the top of the scale, especially those long serving folks in uh, in the library, the part timers who are very important to keeping it running as well as it's running. So other thoughts, observations about this? Because I'm ready if someone would like to uh, make a motion to approve the 20, it's, it's, what is it, 2023 fiscal year part-time wage scale as presented by Kays Logar. Do I hear a motion to that effect? I move. Right. I second. All right, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye, all right. I think that was all three of us, <laughs> so. <laughs> So the motion passes. Yay. Now, do I we want to do anything about 2024 now? Let me just say we, we could, but something about how, I don't think we need to get, that would be too far ahead. <laughs> I, I like- Yeah, I was gonna say no. Yeah. No, uh -huh. I don't want to think about 2024 now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just hope the economy and inflation has, uh, you know, yeah. stopped roaring ahead <laughs> at a scary pace. But yeah. uh, I, I don't. I, I think no harm is done by holding off now on the FY 2024. But we have okay. that ready to go. All right, when when it seems more mm -hmm. sensible to. Right, make. it can be brought back next year if. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we still want to do it. Um, Yep. So again, thank you very much for getting that in front of us uh, this morning, Kay. Appreciate it. Okay. And now on the agenda, uh, we're down to old business staffing report. And that has been sent around. Anybody want to point out anything of interest uh, on that? Um, I can just. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to point out that we had four people resign, um, a police officer, a firefighter, a DPW electrician, and a planner. Um, and then we hired 
five, um, four police um, patrol officers and a facility maintenance worker. Yeah. So that's a lot of hiring for the police department. That's yes. Great. So I assume yes. they need those folks. Yep. I want to, I did notice that of the four people who resigned, two were not exactly around for a long time. They're like two years of service and they're gone. And is there any, do we know why they left? Is there any problem? Is the town happy that they resigned? Uh, or did, I mean, the usual explanation is that they got a much better paying job somewhere else. But um, well, the uh, person that was the electrician moved to Tennessee. Um, the uh, firefighter, uh, was a basic firefighter that was hired for COVID. Um, and um, I don't believe that he was uh, currently pursuing a paramedic degree. So uh, he probably would have uh, been gone at some point because uh, we typically hire paramedics to begin with. But uh, when the people were hired temporarily for COVID, uh, it, it was we hired anybody we could get essentially mm -hmm. uh, so and he was previously on the student force um so he was no in quantity but um and then um the um ben B berger uh, went to mass dot uh, as a planner and Matthew Zomek went to the town of Irving as a police officer. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, let's hope this new crew um, works out. And uh, two women hired into the police department. That's great. A Hispanic woman is one of the two. And uh, the others are our good old trusty white males who are wonderful people to have in the town along with all the- Yes, the that's great. Right. Yes. So, <laughs> nothing against those folks at all. Uh, any other comments about the staffing report? All I, right. Tony, I just wanna say I appreciate, <clears throat> I appreciate your attention to detail and questions that you ask. I just want to say, I'm always, I just, I'm always, I'm just always happy you're chairing this committee and ask the, <laughs> you ask the questions that you ask. No, really, like no. that was, that's a good pickup, like to look at how many years, how long were they there? And just to ask about it, I just appreciate it. Well, thank you. I'm, uh, since I'm the, the chair of the board, I figure somebody better read reports <laughs> with some care. <laughs> You know, well, I appreciate it. So, thank you. Now, speaking of uh, careful reading, next item is approving the minutes. Oh boy! Meeting. So, <laughs> but you're not going to hear anything from me because I already saw a prior version of these, <laughs> and the little teeny tiny. Find a missing comment if you can, or a comma. <laughs> They've all been taken care of, but uh, how about the rest of you? You wanna? I move to approve them. I did read them. Thank you very much. I second. There is second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Sounds unanimous to me. Next personnel board meeting is uh, scheduled, I think, with a question mark for Wednesday, December the 14th. I'm assuming there will be stuff for us to, to talk about, uh, although we did something fairly important today with the, with the pace, with the uh, wage scale for part timers. And I think that would mean our new HR director will not yet be officially on board. Right. She'll. Yeah. Um, she won't start until the 19th. So I don't know if you want to delay. Um, well, that's what I'm thinking out loud. And, and yeah, and that's what I was thinking. Could we delay and have the meeting be with her? 21st. That would be her third day on the job. Mm -hmm. I won't be here. Okay. okay. But that's okay if there's everyone else is. 
All right. Kay, is she going to be in shape to uh, to just make an appearance at least at the uh, at the uh, personnel board meeting on her third day? You know, is she just going to? Yeah. Be um. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it might be better to um skip December and go to January. Well, um, I disagree. Okay. I. Oh, only because um, I met her twice. And I think if even if it was just a friendly, we're here, we're the Amherst Personnel Board, we are so psyched. Right. And here we want to get on the radar with you. I, I, I don't want to come in after the fact. I want to be on the front end with her. Well, then let's shift if it possible. to the 21st. If possible. It's a busy week. It's a holiday week, but that's invite her to spend a few minutes to have a cup of coffee with the personnel board yeah uh, <laughs> on, <laughs> on the 21st and uh so but not everybody's here on the 21st is that right but or well, should we yes i will not be here Annie can't make it um and let's assume even, that even if can. just a couple of us could even if you well, just we're, we're limping along now let's assume yeah that and make it and Paul and um, and so I like that idea of uh, shoving it back and let's hope it doesn't you know put too much pressure on on Melissa uh, and we will be sorry to miss you uh, Tammy um, hopefully get to meet her later <laughs> and Kay thank you for helping out yeah oh no problem it's been wonderful Something tells me you you may be stepping down as the interim, but I don't think you're going away. I don't think you're. No, I don't have any plans to go away. Okay, I want you to um, know if I had reaction buttons in Zoom, I would be putting up a heart or a celebration thing. Or but I don't have reaction <laughs> buttons, so I. Well, you can you can clap. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, here. Here we go. Yay! Oh, <laughs> thank you thank for you. everything you've done. Yes. You're here. My pleasure. So are there anything, is there anything else we should be uh, talking about? Big decisions, small decisions, no decisions. <laughs> How about a decision to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. All right. We're out of here. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you Happy very much. Happy Thanksgiving. Day, everybody. Don't Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.